Hello everybody and welcome to the Thursday edition of Video Clips um, and uh, we'll get right to it here. One very popular theory of diet and heart health is that if you substitute saturated fat with better fats, air quotes around that, such as oils high in linoleic acid, it reduces cholesterol and it lowers the risk and incidence of cardiovascular events and deaths. It's a widely held view but there is not even one randomized controlled trial that has shown that replacing saturated fat with linoleic acid rich oils makes a difference for these purposes. In fact, studies show the opposite. The Sydney Diet Heart Study showed that replacing saturated fat with high linoleic vegetable oil lowered cholesterol. And this goes to you can have pretty blood work but not necessarily better outcomes because the risk of death from coronary heart disease and all-cause mortality actually increased in spite of the fact that cholesterol went down. Recently, the researchers who did this study decided to review previously unpublished uh, data from a study called the Minnesota Coronary Experiment, or MCE, in order to investigate the whole thing further. They've always been perplexed about this. MCE was the largest randomized controlled trial that looked at the effect of replacing saturated fat with vegetable oils for patients in hospitals, mental institutions, and nursing homes. For the new review, researchers looked at raw data which included serum cholesterol levels and autopsy reports. And then in addition to this, and in the same article, they did a meta-analysis of some randomized controlled trials that looked at whether replacing saturated fat with vegetable oils resulted in, the reduced, in a reduced risk of death from either coronary artery disease or all-cause mortality. All right, so first I'll cover the hospital, the, the patients confined to an institution diet. At baseline, the hospital diet was about 18.5% of calories from saturated fat and 3.8% of calories from polyunsaturated fat. The total between these two fats, and I, I don't know much about other fats in addition, but 22.3% of calories. All right, liquid corn oil replaced regularly used cooking fats such as hydrogenated oils. Corn oil was added to food like salad dressings, ground beef and cheese, and polyunsaturated margarine was used instead of butter. Now saturated fat intake did decrease by about 50%. It went from 18.5 to 9.2% of calories. And linoleic acid intake increased from 3.4% to 13.2% of calories. Well, the first thing, and I'm going to come back to this later, is that we had a decrease in saturated fat and increase in polyunsaturated fat, but the amount of fat from these two sources was essentially unchanged. Control patients did not reduce their saturated fat intake. They did have a very slight increase in the intake of linoleic acid from an average of 3.4% to 4.7% of calories. The control patients also had a diet that was pretty high in uh, trans fatty acids. Intervention patients showed significantly lower plasma cholesterol, which is just like the Sydney uh, study that I mentioned earlier. More compliance, defined as fewer missed meals, was associated with even lower cholesterol levels. But the lower cholesterol levels did not translate to decreased risk of death. In fact, the mortality rate was higher for the group eating more vegetable oils than for the control patients. And there was a strong association between decreasing cholesterol levels and increased risk of death. Patients in the intervention group had almost twice as many heart attacks in the, um, as those in the control group. And for every 30 milligram per deciliter drop in cholesterol, the risk of death increased by 35%. The meta-analysis resulted in the same conclusion. Consuming vegetable oils high on linoleic acid in place of saturated fat reduced cholesterol, but it did not reduce mortality rates. Researcher Daisy Zamora says, quote, altogether this research leads us to conclude that incomplete publication of important data has contributed to the overestimation of benefits and the underestimation of uh, potential risks of replacing saturated fat with vegetable oils rich in linoleic acid. All right, so far, so good. The research confirms what I've been saying for many years. Adopting a different version of a bad diet doesn't make any difference in eating this fat instead of that fat doesn't make things better and it sometimes makes things worse. The problem is that some people are now chattering about this uh, to mean that uh, eating butter and saturated fat is better than eating vegetable oils or that lowering cholesterol is not a good idea because it increases the risk of dying of heart disease. However, it's not true and it represents a gross misrepresentation of what the data say. Now, in this particular study, I'll get to the meta-analysis in a minute, both groups were eating a poor diet at the beginning of the study and they continued to do so during the study. Omega-6 fatty acids are found in vegetable oils, nuts, seeds, and animal products. 
One problem in today's diet is that the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids has changed considerably. A few decades ago, it was about 1 to 1 to 1 to 4, more omega-6 sometimes, but not much more. Today, the ratio is between 1 to 25 and 1 to 30. Um, almost everybody agrees that that change has been partially responsible for the um, increased um, incidence of heart disease and a whole lot of other conditions. Um, but in this particular diet, that ratio didn't change at all. The source of the omega-6 changed, but the ratio between omega-3 and omega-6 did not change. On the other hand, in studies like Dr. Esselstyn's study of his heart patients at Cleveland Clinic, one of the factors, or one of the hallmarks of the diet that he used, as well as many other well-structured plant-based diets, is you have a huge reduction in omega-6 fatty acids due to the intake of less animal foods and less processed foods, and that ratio of omega-3 to 6 gets better. But that did not happen here. Uh, again, we saw the exactly the same diet, different sources of the same type of fat. Um, the intervention group um, uh, had a reduction of saturated fat by 50%. The intake of linoleic acid went up by 280%. So um, actually no su substantive change in the diet is what I'm saying here. Now in the meta-analysis, it was very interesting because the selection criteria excluded trials that involved higher intake of omega-3 fatty acids, which would have favorably changed that ratio that I just described to you, and instead was limited to studies in which the only intervention was substituting the type of omega-6 fatty acid. So it's not surprising that the meta-analysis confirmed the studies, or the, um, uh, the MCE study, because it essentially had the same limitation, uh, which was uh, looking at the substitution of one omega-6 fat for another. I'm kind of amazed that this research is getting so much attention from the eat animal foods and cholesterol doesn't matter crowd, mainly because the study design is so poor. If I wanted to make that point, I think I would be looking for better evidence. The researchers acknowledged this. They listed several limitations themselves. One was uh, the study subjects were different. These were patients in hospitals, mental institutions, and nursing homes. So you can't really apply this to the general population. The follow-up time was very short. Patients were only followed while in the hospital, and only 25% of the patients were followed for a year or longer. The relationship between cholesterol and death rates from heart disease and all-cause mortality were only evalu evaluated for patients who were sick enough to remain in some type of institution for a year or longer. Numerous confounding factors, which would include medications taken, the reason for hospitalization, none of those things were considered. The researchers were not able to determine if the effects of corn oil were mitigated by smoking status, pre-existing coronary artery disease, psychiatric history, or drug use. I mean, aside from the fact that we have a whole lot of other research showing that substituting fats doesn't make any difference, this study is useless, I mean, in my opinion. Intervention patients ate almost two times the amount of linoleic acid as the general public. So they were actually eating a worse diet than the general public, which is, it takes work to do that. The group cautioned that consuming concentrated vegetable oils is not the same thing as eating unprocessed foods like nuts that contain linoleic acid. So even the researchers said it was an artificially construed, you know, using an extract of, uh, that uh, contained linoleic acid, not foods. The meta-analysis included only observational studies in addition to the limitation of selection. And uh, by their own admission, the researchers were unable to report a cause and effect relationship. And they said they could not differentiate changes in serum cholesterol from diet versus other causes. Well, again, in spite of all this, um, the finding, the one major finding, which is substituting types of fat, um, doesn't matter. It doesn't change health outcomes. Research shows that all methods of lowering cholesterol are not the same. So you know, that's another thing that the study confirmed. Uh, in other words, uh, statin drugs will lower your risk of a heart attack or stroke by an average of seven tenths of one percent. Um, you get lower cholesterol, you just don't get better health results. Um, so the study confirmed that. And um, you know, it, I guess that the bottom line, uh, I, I'm getting tired of these studies that look at manipulating tiny little parts of the diet and, and uh, that sort of thing because uh, patients um, and, and looking at changing blood work and you know patients don't visit doctors because they want better blood tests. They visit doctors because they want a better and longer life. And the best way to achieve those goals is to adopt a low-fat plant-based diet, which leads to better blood tests and better health. And, and notice I said a low-fat plant-based diet. I didn't say 
eat more of this, eat less of that, just change the source of the fat. You need a comprehensive dietary change. So the biggest limitation of this study, in addition to the fact that it doesn't support what some of the crazy people are saying about cholesterol doesn't matter, etc., is that it's one more study that's based on reductionism. Let's give people this fat instead of that fat and see if magic happens. And lo and behold, magic did not happen. So uh, anyway, I guess this week has been a great week for me because all the stuff I talk about all the time is being documented with um, recent medical research. So uh, that's all for now. As usual, pass this on to anybody who you think might enjoy watching it. And I will be back to you next week with more news.